Pour ce projet, c est, c est, ça représente probablement vers cinq journées de travail. Et il y a aussi, dans l'espace le, um, ici, dans le cours, il y a aussi beaucoup de travail, mais c'est des phrases et des poésies que j'ajoute dans l'espace, mais légèrement. C'est un, un tout suite. The piece is really about self-talk and about the way we experience the world through the stories that we tell to ourselves about ourselves. And these are also stories that we share with the world when we tell the world around us about who we are or what we think we are. And I think when we don't know ourselves in that way, when we don't inspect our self-talk, um, it's very easy to let other people do our thinking for us and to become the authors of our experience. And we often think of those people as being the authorities of our life or in society. And um, we're here at a sort of on the eve of a festival, opening up Festival America, which I'm here for in Vincennes. Um, so we're talking about the, the convening of a number of authors from around the world. And I think this piece, when, we, when we're able as men and women to inspect our self-talk and to change our story, we begin to stand in authority in our lives in the sense of we become the author of our own experience. And I think that's what it really means, another sort of a relationship of thinking about authority or the way that we become um, fully manifest in in our soul's desire to be where we are. And so that's what this piece is sort of about. It's got a little bit of red, white, and blue. Ça, c'est le truc français aussi, le drapeau, et américain aussi. So, il y a beaucoup de connexions, beaucoup d'idées, un peu philosophiques, et beaucoup de connexions avec des littératures et des typographies aussi. J'ai allé au école, au collège d'art. During that period, I discovered the Mexican muralists, the three big dudes that I think have been so influential in the world of contemporary muralism. And so when I sort of started looking into the history of that practice and then what it became as it moved from Mexico into the United States, specifically Chicago um, and parts of Philadelphia, these community-driven murals were considered at that time by those people who were creating them to be tools for emancipation. And I think that's an extremely profound idea of saying, okay, emancipation from what? And what is the power of public art when we do this? And especially what is the power of public art through the lens of a social practice uh, when we're looking at shared creativity and being in communion with each other from that perspective. Um, it's an extremely powerful tool when we're able to paint like this. Um, bigger walls create more administrative responsibility and duty. So then you begin always with projects like this shaping together a community of people who are interested in pushing forward a conversation about public art. And that's a really valuable conversation and it's really valuable in the sense of it being able to pull from us and with us a process of how a community is best able to co-manage its shared resources. And that's the key to all problems in our society. If we look at it politically, sociologically, economically, it's about co-management of shared resource. So for me, this practice is able to address a number of different things sociologically, politically, etc., etc., but in a way that's still just art, <laughs> you know, I'm still pushing paint around with a stick at the end of the day.